Good morning, we're back with our second layer of uh, watercolor. We completed the um, background last week and now I am going to start in with um, some of the details in here. It looks like little marshes or hills back there. So I do have my um, piece of plastic and I am gonna trim this down because I wanna get some smaller and small, medium, and large pieces. You'll see why in a second. So I'm looking specifically at these. These are kind of orange. If you can't figure the color of something out, what you want to do is I took a piece of white paper and I cut a little hole out of there. And this will help me come over onto this and say exactly what color is that? <clears throat> because I know this is a white boat. The thing is, is that it's being reflected off of the sunset. So in here, this is actually orange. It's showing up as orange. This one shows up as a dull orange. This one's really dull. It's kind of like, um, like a brown. So using the white with the hole in it, the white paper, you can really see what color you're, you're working with. And you don't get tricked by what you think it should be. So let's use, I'm gonna use um, maybe a little scraping, but probably more so edging on this. I want to mix my color and I should not put, maybe I should put my coffee over here and my water up here because I don't want to um, dip my brush in my coffee this morning. So I'm going to take a brown and uh, an orange, mix these in, and I'm going to say that's a pretty good color for depth back there. Maybe make some a little bit darker. Um, my paper towels are with me, move that coffee over. So now I'm just gonna take this, the edge of it and dip it in here. And maybe I wanna go with a little bit more orange. And I am going to make some of these details. Change the color up, remember variety is indeed the spice of life. And the thing is about painting is this is just your interpretation of what you see and how you are going to interpret it. So I have some of these back here. No, it's better if I work this way so y'all can see it. Now I kind of want to vary these colors in here, so I am going to add a little more yellow in here. I don't need to follow the colors exactly. Well, we have a so add some of this in here. There we go. So I'm just going to take my time this morning, adding some of these details in here. And then now I'm gonna get more over into this blackish color. This is darker brown. Maybe I'm gonna add some more black to it. Remember, no, no black is ever, it's, you know, black is always tinted, either warm or cool. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to that also. So play around with your colors. play around with your techniques and I'm probably going to use the same technique for the water so I can grab some of this blue right here and watch me just drag it across and you will see how I'm going to make my water on here some are darker some are lighter some are skinnier lines. Again, I'm just suggesting some of these ripples in the water here. And this is what I mean by adding texture. Let's move on. I'm going to carry on um, these later so I don't take up all the video time. I do want to get this part of the boat painted. So I'm going to start at the top of the boat. I'm going to make this nice dark blue dull color in here. 
it is a dark color, so I don't want a lot of uh, water. I want more pigment. And now I'm just going to paint this in here. Drop this in here, nice and random. Nice organic line. There's that white line. There we go. We've got a little, I'm gonna paint these last. Cause I'm gonna move into that orange now of the boat. So I grab my orange. It's a little dirty, but that's okay. Look at me, I just went for my coffee. I did not put the brush in the coffee though. Maybe a little yellow orange in here. And that's probably gonna have a tint of red to it. I wanna get this done in one clean sweep. It still has this like reddish tint. I'm seeing like more of a melon color versus a yellow orange. Lots of water. And this is indeed gonna come right here. This is a clean line, so I am not going to paint this half of the boat yet today because I don't want it. I don't want the whoosh effect. I want the clean line. So I'm going to make one nice, confident, single brush strokes. There we go. Maybe add a little more. I can let this kind of whoosh around in here. A little more red-orange. So I can play around in my wet watercolor wash, the wet on wet technique so things blend in. And then up here, there we go. Clean my brush. There we go. I don't want to mess around too much because if I touch wet into wet, we all know what's going to happen. I'm going to take some of this red because there is some red on this ball right here. That's too red. So that's okay, I can just take more water, rinse my brush out, and bring this down. Now this is the only red in the picture, which is obviously going to be concerning for me, um, because you know we need to echo. And there's a nice shadow along here. See the shadow on this side? So I am going to put that in the ball, our buoy. See here, more red orange. And I'm going to stop right there. There we go. So this is the fun part for most kids because you can paint details. There we are. I still have this nice dark color on my palette that I've used before, so I am going to drop this shadow in here with the blue. And that's going to blend out and stay within the wet. There's a line over here. There's a vertical here. And there is some darker part down in here. So I'm gonna let that dry. So far so good. When this dries a little later today, I am gonna go back in and paint here 
uh, paint this side and then that way I keep that nice crisp line. I will probably paint under, I'm going to use uh, the lighter colors first and do the darker second. So we'll work on this in stages, but for right now I'm going to let it dry and uh, pause the video for now because we're at 10 minutes and um, I am going to continue to fill these in and fill in this marsh uh, over here as well and continue making some of these lines. So when we get back next time tomorrow, I'll probably finish uh, this side, add some final details in pencil. I'm a big fan of using pencil on my watercolors. So, um, and then we'll have a completed painting and um, in three days, basically a background, middle ground, and then our foreground and details. So we'll see you again tomorrow as I keep progressing on this.